Hello everyone and welcome to Antique and Garden Showcase. It's a beautiful day in Kentucky, a perfect day to get outside, enjoy nature a little bit. Got some burlap in the car this morning. I'm going to go home, plant some of the spring containers. I'm going to get those out, put those in the front porch pots, get the liners ready to go. But I just thought I would enjoy the Silver Creek Falls a little bit on the way home today. Hope you enjoy as well. So the spring containers are ready to plant, um, put out in the, the containers up front. Uh, as you can see, I've got uh, all the crocuses are up, the hyacinth are starting to come up, and it's time to get those out, get the old stuff cleaned out in front. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take burlap and put underneath of here, set these on it. Just to give it a little bit of added interest. And then I'm going to take skewers and put through there. The reason I use these skewers is because we have a real huge squirrel problem here. And the skewers will actually deter the squirrels from getting into these planters because they like to get anywhere where there's bare dirt. So this is a technique that I've used year after year to protect my planters from the damage that squirrels can cause. And it can be horrendous. I've come in before and found things scattered all over the front porch and flowers dug up and pulled up and thrown every which way and dirt and just a whole big huge mess to have to clean up. So this has been a very good preventive measure. I actually found this on a British gardening website, this idea, and uh, I was desperate at the time to find something that worked well. So. This has proven to be very successful. So there's one of those tips you can put in your uh, the back pocket there and keep. Instead, I'm just gonna kind of gently wrap this around to give it a little bit of a decoration and to make a deterrent at the same time. So we'll probably speed this process along here. I've got another one that's already almost done. We'll go clean the planters out on the front and uh, pop these in for the season. We'll have a nice spring display ready to go. These are crocus and hyacinth. I did a video about these earlier. Um, these were just bulbs I found at the local Lowe's for, on the 50% off shelf. And uh, I thought I would give this planter, I'd, the winter bulb planter idea a chance and see how it worked. Turned out fine for me. This was a first, a first run of this to see how they would do. I'll try to slip that one over top of that maybe. Pull that around the bottom. All right, so we're gonna go to the front. We're going to clean out the urns. Uh, I've still got the Christmas stuff in there, the decorations left, and I'll show you uh, how I used uh, bricks as kind of a flower frog in there. So let's go on around to the front porch. The materials in these planters have seen better days, so I'm gonna get those cleaned out so we can put the new planters in. You can see I used the brick in here. I put foam in there. I know some people don't like foam, but I use a little bit in between the bricks and on the edges to create like a flower frog inside of the urns whenever I use live greens. And then I do treat those with the uh, oh, that spray stuff that we're. <laughs> I'll put it up on the screen what I use to preserve those with. It's what a lot of people use by Bonide. Um, do that in both of those and put the live greens in there. Now I'm going to clean up this mess.
sweeping and vacuuming sometimes it just takes a shop vac to get things cleaned up around here um, i got the new planters or the new liners popped inside of the planters i had those wrapped in burlap just to give them a little added look got the skewers in there that keeps the squirrels from digging in there and tearing up the bulbs and as i'm putting this one out i do have a crocus bloom already Let's zoom in on that that's our first bloom of spring from the spring bulbs same on this side none blooming just yet but i expect a few more in, in just a few days there's one there that's got a bud coming out right now and the highest that they're breaking ground really well so I think these will be fine. They are under the porch, so they are protected from weather. I'm going to give them a little light water, so um, not a whole lot to do here. They're not hooked into drip or anything. It's still too early for drip. Uh, it's still too cold at nights and whatever, but that's going to be coming up whenever I uh, get the drip system hooked up. I'll show you how that works this year. So our first two containers of spring are done. The hyacinth and the crocus bulbs are out. They are already climatized because they've been grown in the patio room. So they are ready um, for the weather that's coming out here. If it does happen to get really cold again, like in the teens or in single digits, I can go out there and pull those up and stick them in the garage overnight just to protect them if need be. But I don't suspect that's gonna happen uh, anytime soon. So they'll have a good chance to put on some spring growth out here and it's getting time. It's the first of March. So it, it's weather for those type of plants. Got a lot more to do out here. I see. Uh, cabbage behind me in this bed that looks pretty rough but it is protecting the pansies that are underneath of it so all the pansies are perfectly alive that are under those uh, cabbage leaves so I'm giving those just a little bit more time before I clean those up but anyway I just want to thank you all for following along today um, glad to have you here on antique and garden showcase um, don't want to say it but if you don't mind please subscribe um, really helps this channel out give us likes I'm, I'm enjoying uh, reading all your comments and responding to them uh, what a wonderful audience and I'm so glad that you're here uh, as always thanks for watching and have a wonderful week bye